Hey y'all, welcome back to another video. This is Cool Racing. Make sure you guys like, comment, share, subscribe, turn on post notifications. Thank y'all. Love y'all so much for liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing. Sorry. It's lunchtime, 12 o'clock, so. And it's full moon today. Uh, I think it's strawberry moon. Something like that. Y'all can look it up. But today is June 14, 2022. So, but whenever this pop, uh, whenever this start resonating, then you'll probably like, if they guide you towards this reading, it's for a reason. Okay, so keep in mind that these energies are random. Keep in mind that um, your energies can also be reversed. So you can have more masculine than feminine. You can have more feminine than masculine in your chart. Um, look in the link description down below. And you'll see a link about your birth chart and you could like figure out what's up with your birth chart and see if you got more masculine than feminine. Okay. So I already have a couple cards out. So we have the cherry. Seven could resonate. We got cancer energy. We got um we have the cherry. We have four pentacles in reverse. We have ace of wands. Some type of clarity. Uh, I'm, I'm hearing clarity. Some type of um, it could be a Capricorn, or that somebody is, is obsessed with it. I figure that Ace of Wands here, some type of creative spark or something like that. Some type of passion you're gonna get a whiff of something, like a whiff of something. You got Eight of Swords upright, so you could be in some type of mental imprisonment here, and you're trying to get out of. Okay, this might sound a little um, on the sexual side, but I feel like somebody's going to, like, wrap you up in something. Like, you know, handcuff you or something like that. They obsessed with you. Okay, let's see what the chariot is. Let's get out of that energy. What's the chariot? <laughs> it could be a king of swords in reverse. I had to get out the, the deck, or it could be a Taurus Virgo Capricorn that you're dealing with. You could be, deal you could be dealing with both. Let's see what this chariot is upright. This could be friends, family members, trying to resonate. Let's see. King of Pentacles in reverse. So there's a, a Taurus Virgo Capricorn. It don't got to be a Taurus Virgo Capricorn. It don't have to be a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn. I have to say it over again for some reason. But I feel like this person here could be like, they don't have no, like, they could be not grounded. They could have money. Um, they could be selfish, greedy. You know, cold blooded, hasty, disrespectful. And yeah, this person had a broke your home here to them. So if they ha they have a broke your home, they probably like separated from their partner because of them. Whatever they did here, they broke the home up. So they they could have did something to break the home. They could have been abusive. Let's see. What else is the charity? So you're going to get some type of clarity or truth about this person. This person could be a wrong opportunity. You could still, I feel like you're still around this person. You're still traveling towards this person with the charity you got. I feel like you are still around this person. You still probably want to be something with this person because this person came from a broken home or some type of neglect energy. If this person didn't cheat, I feel like uh, they probably gonna tell you that. Of course, they gonna tell you they did. They didn't cheat. But they probably did. You know, your divine masculine player in and out, not a wand, drain of energy, confirmation. So, yeah, I feel like somebody could be confused or unfocused on the situation because this person could be a manipulator here, a player in and out. Been aggressive. We have rough times in the commitment, drain of energy. You could be already drained of energy because of this person, or it could be the fact that this person is drained of energy from what they happened with the Ten of Cups in reverse with them. And this could be a divine masculine, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. It could be, it don't gotta be a relationship. It could be the fact that from a family dynamic. It could be like family members or something that came from a broken home. So let's see what the four of pentacles is in reverse. 
They just, they probably not holding on to this no more. They could be letting go of a love offer here, a Queen of Wands, or Aries towards, uh, Aries towards Cap. Okay. No. Somebody could be an Aries Taurus here. But I feel like somebody could be letting go of shutting off the old of a Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. And this was a love offer. It was pretty small, too. Secret admirer, crush. Like, this probably was a crush or they, like, was into. They was attracted to. Because the Queen of Wands, they don't got to be a fire sign. They could just be attracted, you know. And this person sent them a message. But they're not holding on to them no more. They're letting go of this person. They shedding off the O. So somebody could be getting over their crush here. Somebody that they was crushing on. Yeah, because this person drained them of energy. Probably drained them of money. That's probably why they felt in reverse with the King of Pentacles. Because this person probably drained them of their money and their finances. And they got to let go of this person. Let's see what this Ace of Wands is upright. King of Pentacles. This person got a new uh, King of Pentacles in reverse again. So this person has some type of um, creative spark they're going to do. Yeah, King of Wands. They're probably going to be a player now. But no, I don't see a player. I see the fact that this person is going to be more... Um, they could be loving on themselves. You know, They could be very attractive and charming. Let's see what else. Or they could be talking to somebody that's a fire sign. So it could be one of their friends. <clears throat> they could be talking to their father, Aries. I keep getting Aries Taurus. It could be an Aries Taurus. Whoever Aries Taurus is, it could be an Aries Leo or Sag. But I keep getting Aries Taurus for some reason. Okay. So yeah, it could be a Taurus they moving towards. But this Taurus, okay. They say okay. Uh, this um, this this Earth sign. Is a karmic master. This person just changed roles. They are manipulators. So this is not divine masculine. This is a whole different person. This is the person that's around this energy. I think the king of wands could be divine masculine. But I feel like he's around people that he needs to get away from. And he needs to heal a process from. I feel like a divine masculine could be an air sign. Or he could be in this playful energy of the King of Wands. He don't have to be a fire sign. But I feel like whoever he around here is um, going through it and they need to heal and move forward and stop changing to be somebody else when they're not, you know. They need to stop changing. This could be a Taurus. Or this could be three people. This could be a Taurus, it could be a Taurus Virgo Capricorn, or it could be an Aries Leo Sag, or it could be a, a Air Sign. But I haven't seen Air lately. I've seen um Water and Fire recently. So it could be a Cancer Scorpio Pisces or a uh no, it could be a Taurus Virgo Capricorn or Aries Leo Sag, which is what I'm getting. And the look, the car is still at the bottom. So somebody's obsessive here and codependent. Somebody's codependent on you. I feel like that Taurus Real Capricorn is codependent on you because our Taurus card came out. This person probably want to marry you soon or marry or finna get married or you want to marry this person. You want to either marry them or they want to marry you in the future. They probably just want your money to be real with you because you got money. And they're obsessed with materialism or they just codependent on substances. They probably codependent on like stuff like uh smoking, drinking. They probably codependent. Okay, what's the ace of the eight of swords? So I feel like some truth gonna come out because I said ace of swords. So some truth could be coming out. Some consequences. This is eight of swords. Somebody draining you with energy, and it's a sad, it's sad to lose this person. You probably really like love this person here, but they just drain you of energy. This person really not doing nothing for you or like not really like trying to do nothing there's all these arguments you know it's complicated you know there could be competition in the background people trying to battle trying to compete for your attention your affection and it's like the fact that you're trying to stay with this one person but this person oh, bad news is king of swords or it could be a, a, a earth sign i feel like more of an earth sign or an air sign 
Yeah, there we go. This person not working on each other. So you could be dealing with two people. I feel like there could be an air sign. It don't got to be an air sign. It could be a Gemini, a Libra, or a Aquarius. Or it could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, I feel like. You could be possibly dealing with or around. There you go, the King of Pentacles should pop out again. I feel like you could be committed to this uh, King of Pentacles. But I feel like you could be like talking to other people as well or you could have like yeah you could be talking to this other person as well it could be family members as well too you guys so don't try to make it as a relationship but i feel like somebody's really with a towards little capricorn as in this situation this person not really you know com committed here because unconventional relationships those are people what they want and what they need that's not really a commitment so be mindful of who you talk to and, and communicate to because at the end of the day, this person probably just want to have fun with you or they just want to, uh, they just want to like one night stand type ish, uh, situation. Yeah, you know, like losing their mind, judgmental. Like just be mindful of what y'all, who y'all deal with, okay? Love y'all. Thank y'all so much. Make sure you guys like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see y'all in the next few videos. Okay, bye.